So I just went to my work. I work at a pet store. Um, and I got some little baby fish. Don't know, I forgot the name of them. I got some little baby fish and um, I am going to feed them to my two betas and see kind of what happens. I know I have gotten two tetras before and the smaller one somehow magically disappeared. So I know one of them has eaten it before. I mean, if that's what they like and um, it's a good source of protein and it's natural, um, why not? I mean, it's the same thing as feeding my frogs some crickets, so it's natural. It's the circle of life. I mean, yeah, I feel bad for the little fishies, but I care about my betas a little bit more. Yeah, and who knows? They might even become, like, best friends, so you never know. They might not even eat each other and just be happy BFFs. Okay, so here is my beta tank. All right, so this is my fish tank. There's Cory. There's TJ. I have a little foam divider dividing them. They have a little light, a little thermometer thingy, some heaters, and a filter. So yeah, that's my tank. Um, I'm going to try and feed them some live fish, and we'll basically just see how they react. I also got some little shrimps to help keep the tank clean, um, and we'll also see how the betas react to that. The shrimp are very, very fast, so I think they should be okay. For the two little baby fishies that I'm going to feed as a sacrifice. I am so sorry um, to those who think I have no soul because I'm feeding fish to another fish. I do feel bad that I'm feeding fish to fish. Um, yeah, they're so fast. Look at that. But I do love my betas a little bit more than those guys. I'm sorry. This will be a really awesome source of protein and all that good stuff. So yeah, we'll see how this all works. He is honestly such a fatty because every time I like bump my desk or bump the um, fish tank or whatever, he will go straight up to the top. Yep, see, because he thinks he's gonna get fed every single time. This fish, TJ, he's pretty chill about it. He doesn't really care. I mean, he's starting to learn a little bit, but he's the one who's really into food. All right, so this is the first fishy to get um, their new snack. And I just want to, I can't stress this enough, I do feel bad for these fish. Obviously, I love animals, I love fish, if I have to pet fishes. Um, but, you know, I, it's a good source of protein, it's natural for them. Um, you know, I just think it would be good for my fish. Oh, there's one. Let's see how he reacts. I don't know if you can see it or not. He's hiding over there in the back corner. Looks like he's just playing chase with him or something. He's not really being as aggressive as I thought he would be. He's just kind of chasing it. He's not really actually like eating him. I'll come back to this he one. It might be worse because I know he's already eaten one. So there you go. All right, let's see what happens with this guy. Where'd he go? He doesn't really have much interest in him either. That's so weird! He ate my other Tetras! I told you guys, they might be friends. Like, you never know. I think they might be friends. And you've kind of left him alone, too. These are the most chill bet betas. I love my dog. These are the most chill betas, like, you could probably ever ask for. Wow. I was not expecting that. I was at least expecting TJ to freak out. Um, yeah. The, there's the fish. There's TJ. He literally doesn't care. Oh, my gosh. Well, that's cool. I guess I have two new 
pet fish? I don't, I don't even know. Okay, now we're going to try um, the shrimp. Um, we're going to try the shrimp, and based on how they're acting with the two little fish, I don't think the shrimp are going to be an issue. I finally found the other one. There he is right there. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's like death staring it. Oh my god, guys. He might eat the... Oh. <gasps> that was so close. Oh my god. Look, his fins are literally like covered in blood. He's a killer. Gators aren't very fast. So, um... And these guys are, so it might take a while for them to actually eat the bait or eat the little um, tetra thing. And yeah, I can't believe TJ actually doesn't care. He was the one I was worried about. <laughs> Alright, so it's been like a few hours, and this is how they're acting. The little fish is still in here somewhere. I don't know where it is. I just saw it a second ago, so it's probably hiding. But um, yeah, he's really calm. He doesn't really care um, anymore. There, I don't know if you can see it, the little shrimp guy back there. He doesn't really care about that either. Same with this guy. It's just kind of uh, chilling. Doesn't really care. So that was me attempting to feed my betas. Um, obviously, it didn't really go as I had thought. Um, TJ was the one I was mostly worried about because I knew he attacked fish from like the last time I tried to make it a community tank it didn't really go as planned I thought um TJ would for sure like freak out and eat him thank you guys for watching I thought you might enjoy um seeing me try and feed my fish like fish